All right, well, <laughs> the video idiot is back. Uh, the trip took a bit of a detour. The uh, dashboard lights lit up like a Christmas tree, and I figured, man, I don't want to go up into the National Forest and find out something's wrong with the car. So I pulled off here in Kingsport, Tennessee. And uh, so they're working on the car right now. Who knows if I'll be here another night or not, but I figured, hey, let's get out and enjoy Kingsport. So uh, I stayed at the Meadowview, uh, uh, boy, I tell you, a resort, I guess how you would call it. It's not a hotel. And uh, it was expensive, early, but uh, nice, really nice. Uh, but the thing was, there was nobody there, man. So I was talking to the people and I said, you know, has it been like this? And I guess since the virus hit, I don't even know how they're staying open. Um, just coming into here, I had to come down a, a, a kind of a highway, I guess, and uh, to get to this bike trail. And all the restaurants are just closed, man. I mean, I, I, how are these businesses gonna stay in business? I've talked to a lot of people since I've been here, you know, just hanging out, crying on their shoulder because, you know, I, I wanted to be in the National Forest and not here. And uh, they just said the economy around here is just, just that devastated. So, you know, as I travel, we kind of see it, but this is pretty cool right here. This is, uh, this is the bike trail. Now, <laughs> you gotta check this out. Yeah, they told me, you can get on the bike trail behind the PetSmart. Now, you would have never found this if somebody hadn't told me, but look look at this. <laughs> Is that crazy or what? So I just I just came into the trail, you know, right off of the parking lot. And uh, so anyway, we're getting ready to do it. Here's the trail right here. All right, so it's the Indian Trail Drive Trailhead, and then you can see down this way, we're going to be doing uh, the trail. A couple people there. I'm trying not to get them in the in the shot, and uh, so let's get started. I'll try to get some video as we go along. GoPro, where are you? Trying to do the one hand thing again. Anyway, isn't this cool? I thought this was. I had to get this shot right here just to show you what I'm seeing, and this is that bike trail. I uh, talked to some people. That's only about. 11 miles long total and uh so we're, we'll probably do the whole thing and get to see it i just want to do this bridge and we're going to cut off here it's getting a little dangerous for an old man to be driving with one hand but uh, man this is really cool so kind of learned by making the videos not to flip the phone vertically <laughs> it just i don't know why it renders the uh the video you know with that little small area so we're just going to keep it flat i'm going to just bring it up and kind of show you just take it down you know from the top to the bottom so this is the trail and uh that looks pretty cool you know you saw that uh that wooden bridge i thought that was fun and then uh so over here they kind of talk about uh what you much what you might see in here you know, it's called the birds, the Kingsport Greenbelt. That's what they're calling it. And uh, so I'm hoping, you know, maybe we'll see some of these birds. Boy, I tell you, I'd love to see a bald eagle. Oh my God, wouldn't that be fabulous? Get to get some video of that maybe. And uh, let's get going. All right. Now this is cruel, you know, they need to put some signs down in here. I saw people down here, they're feeding these ducks. And so look at them, they're just all congregated in this area. There's a little, little baby chickadee or something. Pretty cool looking. But I mean, you don't feed wild animals, people. It's cruel because now these things, if, if, if you'd quit feeding them for a period of time, they're gonna starve to death because they're not used to being out in the wild and getting their own food. You know, they just sit here and wait for people to come in and feed them. And uh, anyway, just wanted to show you what what you know what you don't do I'll just zoom in on a couple of them i mean they are pretty to look at i no doubt about that i you know everybody loves to, to look at the ducks and here's a unique one right there kind of kind of weird looking and uh of course here's there's the regular ones right there they got some pretty colors on them all right, so all right that's enough for now just trying to get a couple things along the way it's cruising by and i Saw these little guys. Let's see how close we can get. Isn't that cool? He's just kind of, I guess he's digging up worms. I don't know. Definitely, definitely used to humans. Hope he doesn't turn around and bite me. 
and you got this guy back here and that little guy right there boy we're, we're getting really close yeah he's just just moving along so they're just kind of coming down the trail is what what we're seeing along the way here uh so we'll continue on this way all right so as we move along i love to to get the history on the these things and uh, i guess kingsport's been around quite some time you know we don't really you know being from virginia you don't know that out this way you know people have been around let's get up here close uh Captain Joseph Effort built the first mill at this location in 1814. Andrew Gibson purchased the mill in 1851. The mill became known as the Gibson Mill, which over time gave the area its name. In 1950, Roby Anderson Melam, son of Thomas L. Melam, a miller from Elizabethton, purchased the mill for $3,000. The elder Melam had patented a secret formula for flour in 18, 1879. Wow. He called this product a gold standard flour. 100 years later, that flour continued to be produced at Kingsport Milling Company. So I'll let you read the rest. I'm, I'm going to go ahead and read it. I don't want to you know, make these videos too long. So let's keep on going. So I always try to get what's interesting along the way. Now, <laughs> that car dealer sent me all the way down to uh, the pet smart which was way down the road on, a, on that highway and there was an entrance to the trail right right by the car dealer and that this, this girls and boys club and I tell you you know that's what you run into everywhere you go you think that the people that that car dealer that this would be a treasure that they would be using and they would know the whole trail I know I would know the whole trail if I worked right up there this is where I'd be coming for lunch or uh, whatever or after work just to go for a bike ride or a hike Anyway, so this was, uh, if you look on these all these park benches, they put that right there in the middle. Now, my guess is there's probably a bit of a homeless problem here, and they don't want them sleeping on these benches, because you can see that 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 right there, that's, that's kind of new on all the benches. Uh, but I saw this bridge, and here's something, see what I'm, one, one problem that Tennessee's got, and you know, they, I'm sure they got city workers, but look at that, see that hanging off of the tree? Now we've got a nice view of the of the river here, but what I'm seeing on this trail is a lot of trash on the side of the trail. You know how how difficult is it to send a crew down in here with some some bags and just and clothes? You know I did see some clothes along the way, so that does indicate that you know people are coming back in here and probably uh, sleeping at night. Um, but I would just pick up that trash and make it look a lot better. So uh, we're going to continue on down this way down the trail. I'm doing the easy part first. I don't know if I'll get to the, there's supposed to be a real hilly part, which might have some really nice views. And uh, I don't know if we'll get to that or not, but uh, we'll keep on going. But I just wanted to show you one of the park benches and they all they all have that right there. And uh, you know, the only purpose I can think of is to keep somebody from falling asleep on that bench. Cause it, it would be uncomfortable to lay on that, wouldn't it? All right, continuing on. Well, I thought this was interesting. It's a scuba place. And looks like they serve ice cream and uh, and uh, min well, and they got this miniature golf course here. It's kind of cool, but look at that. It's obviously in, it's not in use. I mean, I guess they're out of business, which is a shame. But uh, at least the birds are, are getting to enjoy it here. I, I just, uh, you know, you see stuff along this along the way, and your heart just bleeds for the owners of these businesses that the government has put out of business with these constant lockdowns. You know, I don't know if Tennessee went into lockdown. I, like I said, Gatlinburg didn't, but I'm seeing that maybe it's a different story in other parts of Tennessee. But uh, I imagine once upon a time, this was pretty cool, you know, just kind of walking around it. Now, you know, that one thing about miniature golf courses that I don't understand is Myrtle Beach. You know, if anybody's been to Myrtle Beach, uh, boy, I tell you, you know, when you put in a miniature golf course, you know put some hills in and some some stuff you know and make it really big i mean this is all right you know but uh, look these holes there's not much to them you just hit it up there and you know to the cup but uh but you know it does make you sorry to see this and it's it's well landscaped and whatnot anyway we're gonna move on I'm, looks like that i've turned off of the river and it, it looks like the trail is just gonna go up this way by the road i don't know we'll see what we see but um, I'm fortunate to, to be on this trail. Now, there's not much to the trail. I mean, because it, you know, it, it wasn't like Lynchburg. And like I said, Lynchburg's destroying their trail, you know, because they, they got that greenway through the heart of the city. And 
you could tell this trail came in after a lot of businesses had built up along the river and so you know but it's it's got some really scenic parts and uh i might get another shot from the from the handlebars there and try not to kill myself all right let's move on so i thought this was an interesting sign <laughs> maybe maybe they get some people down here with boom boxes i mean there are looks like some housing here right along uh I don't want to say low income, but probably lower of the income spectrum. And uh, there's the, I kept calling it a river. I'd call that a creek, really. But uh, they call it a river, I think. And then on this side of the sign, it's, uh, it says, uh, use pathways only during daylight hours. So that's another indication to me that maybe they were getting some people down in here. Now, I just wanted to show you real quick. I'm not going to, I'll run up here. Yeah. So the pathway, I thought I was coming to an end, but it says trail continues 0.5 miles. So we're gonna be riding right up into this neighborhood here, I guess for about a half a mile. And uh, hopefully, <laughs> I'm sure there's signs along the way, it'll tell me where we're gonna get back on the trail. So anyway. So I believe I'm lost because we came down that bike lane right there, which I don't like riding on those. You know, all it takes is an old person to swerve and man, they're gonna nail you. And uh, the bike lane continues this way, but I was going straight, and if I continued this way, I'd just, I'd just stay up on the sidewalk, I guess. So I'm gonna run off and uh, ask some people down here um, where, the, where the trail's at. So hopefully we'll get back on the trail. But uh, I did get to see some of downtown uh, Kingsport. Um, boy, what a contrast it is here. You know, you go from, from poor, to wealthy to middle class and just uh, you know within a few blocks of each other but uh, so let's go find out where where I'm at well I'm here at the visitor center I asked them guys at Firestone and one of them he was giving me directions back to where I got off the trail in the first place so I, he said that's the only portion of the trail that he knows of course the welcome center is closed uh, I guess because of the virus and uh, that's the crazy thing about this trip how does anybody have jobs anymore now they did have a, a trail map this is this is this is what it looks like and uh, but the thing that's frustrating to me I mean how difficult would it be to put a, a, a trail map right there you know hey Kingsport put a trail map right there and have a little arrow on there saying you are here you know and then uh, and that way you could figure out where you are in relation to the trail and work your way back because i'm sure you know people might want to ride up in here and see the visitor center you know and, and find out about kingsport well i mean i guess you can't now it's closed so one guy said that might be behind this food city i'm going to go back there if i don't find it i'll just backtrack and we'll just get back on the trail and uh there's another portion i haven't done that's supposed to be pretty hilly i was doing the easy part first in case they finish work on my car looks like i'm going to be holed up in a hotel again tonight because uh, by the time I get out of here, it's going to be uh, too late to, to go camping. So I guess I might just head on down to Talladega. I'm sorry I'm not going to get to see the uh, Cherokee Forest. But anyway, let's, let's get rolling. So from that visitor center, I went behind that uh, food mart the guy mentioned. And there was, if you come down the street back here, there was a sign pointing this way. It's a Greenbelt Trail this way. So I think we found it. You can kind of see that's a little bridge right there. Uh, I'm going to kind of backtrack here a little bit, see if I can get down, back down on the trail. Looks like it's going underneath, and uh, hopefully we'll get back on the trail. I, 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 I can't wait to find where I'm supposed to get on the trail at, but uh, anyway, let's keep on. So here's that sign I was telling you about. Now, when you see that, and you look to the right, would you think that that was the trail? <laughs> I didn't, you know, I kept on going down here and then I made a right on that road, but I said, man, this can't be right because you get out on that road, that'd be dangerous. But uh, anyway, that's the entrance to the trail right there. Now I did notice that the trail's going this way. So I bet there was another entrance down here somewhere. We're gonna get to the next marker because I'm gonna go on this way, I'll continue on down the trail. And uh, when I get to a marker, I'll pull up my map and we'll see where I went wrong. All right, so, but yeah, would you, I mean, I, I know I'm an idiot. That's why I call this a video idiot, but I came from down, the visitor center's like right over here. So I came down that road, just came up the sidewalk and just, just happened to see this sign right here. So I knew I was close to the trail. All right, let's get back on and keep going. 
So we're back on the trail. I thought this was interesting. Uh, just pulled in right here, kind of get a, a view of the, uh, the creek rolling by uh, with this wall here. Uh, and then this, look at this building. Isn't that, isn't that cool? Kind of interesting. Uh, man, I tell you, we're gonna have to pull together as a nation. I passed a guy a ways back on just sitting on the bench, just hunkered over like, like he was in misery. And he had his car, you know, his, his homeless cart there with a suitcase on it and probably everything he owned. And you, this is what I'm talking about along the trail, you know, just kind of debris and whatnot. And it's kind of gotten in disrepair, but, uh, but nice, nice bike ride. I'm enjoying it. So let's, uh, I got perfect weather. So that's, but and bad, bad news on the car. They still haven't called me. And uh, we're getting into a couple hours. Uh, either that means they just couldn't squeeze it in because they were too busy, or uh, I'm looking at a $1,000 tab because they're having to rip it apart or something. I'm getting worried and getting worried. I, I don't want to spend a $1,000, you know, just to, just to get back to Florida, but I guess I have to. How else are you going to do it, right? Got to let them fix the car. All right, here we go. So I just came down that. There's a little sign, you know, kind of one back here. So go that way, and that one pointed me down here. I thought maybe, well, and then I came to this sign right here. It says Greenbelt straight ahead. So I went down there, didn't see this. By the way, we're coming up on a really good view of the river here. Uh, and I mean, it's a river. It ain't no damn creek now. So we're gonna, I'll show you that. It's really beautiful. All right, so man, check it out. Isn't this awesome? This looks fairly new. I wonder if they just put this in. A couple guys down there fishing, huh? Man, I can't wait to get my fishing pole out. Oh my goodness. But, uh, Here's it, and what I, what I was telling you, man, now that's a river. So, and check that bridge out going across. Now coming down in here, check this out. I might, might get some food coming back. This is a restaurant. Boy, what a location, huh? And it's pretty, pretty crowded. You know, there's people in there, so, the, but man, the location's just ideal. And uh, you can see the industry back there in the distance. I was gonna show you a house, but the guy, came out the door I didn't think he'd appreciate me filming his house because it like said contrast you go from you know this is very new and modern and you know this looks like it's recently built to uh, just a dilapidated house right within you know a few hundred yards all right let's keep on going and I'm gonna tell you my heart is racing on this this is this is scary this I got out on this bridge look at the cable looks like a little rusted I hope that uh, there's no sign saying don't get out here but I'm doing this just for you, just to show you. Whew, I'm way out over the river. So let's just get a view. I'm taking it nice and slow. I don't want to drop this phone. <laughs> we'd, we'd never see this phone ever again, would we? Holy moly. But uh, I guess in Tennessee, I I, I, I swear, I'm, I'm not gonna go all the way across. I'm just gonna go on back. I just want to get out here a little ways, you know. Kind of nice, got a little campground there. They're doing some construction back there. We'll go a little further. But look at this thing wobbling. Man, this looks like something out of a movie. You know, when the tomb, you know, what was it? The, um, gosh dang it, what was that Harrison Ford movie where he was out on that bridge and they cut those ropes and uh, the Temple of Doom, that was it. Yeah, this, this reminds me of that doggone bridge that went across that huge canyon. So, ah, hell, we're just about across. Let's see what's on. Now, look at that. Wow, does that mean that board's loose? I, I don't know, man. Ooh, looks just like an open field back here. Uh, tell you what, I'll cut it off for a second, and then when I get across, we'll take a look at it. Anyway, this is cool. There was a couple in there. I didn't want to get them in the video, and uh, so I just kind of pulled up here, and we'll just walk through it. But you can see the trails going on down this way. But look at this little covered bridge, man. I love this stuff. So let's drag on out here. So I was going to ride right through here, but I figured, hey, I, you know, they were looking at something. Let's just see what they were looking at. They stopped right here for a long time and I kept thinking, man, I wish they'd move on so I can get the video. And, and I thought, well, I can get it on the way back and then I turned and they were moving on. So let's see uh, what they were looking at. This is where they were at. I don't know. I don't know what was so interesting. Uh, but uh, we'll take a look right here. Hmm. I don't know. When I see that debris down there in the water, isn't that terrible? I hate litter bugs, man. I hate them with passion. But uh, we'll move on. I mean, I thought this was really cool. I mean, especially in a storm, you know, you could hole up here. Uh, you know, and this is what's important on bike trails. You know, it's nice that they put places for people to, to stop in a storm, you know. But uh, all right, let's keep on going. 
They were, they were giving them that way.